And this, this is uh, Vir Virginia Jackson when she graduated in St. Joe from Central High School in 48. And this is uh, Charles and Kate Jackson about the same time I got married. This is Virginia and Bob with their first daughter, Barbara Ann Tatum. Virginia had two children, Larry Dell Tatum and Barbara Ann Tatum. And this is us uh, on Easter morning after church, uh, Barbara, Virginia, and Larry. And this is uh, when they grew up, Bar Barbara graduated. She was born in 50, and uh, Larry, the two children. This is the cousins at Charles Jackson's funeral. This is Barbara Tatum, Larry Tatum. Is this Johnny or Tay? Yeah, this oh. is Johnny Morgan, Toots' son, Teddy, Mina Jane, um, no, Marie, and Mina Jane. Mina Jane and Where's uh, Johnny? This is Johnny. Right and Johnny there. are McClure Morgan's two children with Lois. Uh, Teddy and Marie are Theodore Morgan's children. And Barbara and Larry are Virginia Tatum's children. Uh, this is the last picture of Virginia and Robert Tatum. He died at 66 in 97 of uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. Virginia is still living. That's you. And this is our daughter, Barbara Ann Tatum, and she married Roger Randall. And this is Philip. Tatum and Michelle, I mean, no, Philip Randall and Michelle Randall. And this is uh, their son, Larry Tatum, and his family, his wife, Stephanie, Larry, and their oldest girl, Jennifer, and Katie and Margaret. And this is uh, Larry and Barbara and Margaret when they were getting ready for Larry's uh, oldest girl, Jennifer's wedding. And where was that? And this was in Pahuska, Oklahoma, and Jennifer had a garden wedding at their home. And this is Jennifer and Larry going down the aisle. And this is Jennifer and her husband, Eric Long. And, this, and they had a, uh, one of Larry's friends, uh, Indian Chief, marry them, Chief uh, Light Cloud, I believe his name was. This is Barbara Tatum's uh, Randall. This is a Barbara Tatum married to Roger Randall. And this is her son, Philip Randall, and his wife, Tanya. And this is their daughter, Michelle. Barbara and Roger have two children, a boy and a girl. Kate and Charlie had two children, Virginia 
and Charles, and this is Charles and his mother Kate, and he had three boys. He had Char Charles and Casey and Chris. And I don't have a picture of his wife, but he married Sandy. This is Mary Morgan, and she married Arthur Thompson. And she was the first one to get married. They did not have no children. Before we had pictures, but we're not sure if we took this one or not. This is at Bean Lake. This is Ella, and this is Reva Moore, Aunt Dicey's daughter. And this is Kate Jackson. This is Kate and Charles Jackson with Virginia and Charles. And then here is Charles and Kate and Charles Jr. Uh, I think Aunt Mabel took this picture. Grandma got sick down at the farm with a blood clot. And they worked with her a few days there, and then they took her up to St. Joe to Mercy Hospital. And then she came to Mother's house, and she had a room there, and the sisters stayed and took care of her. She lived six weeks there. This is Grandma again with her brother Bill. That was taken in 1929. 1929. And this is Grandma in 34. Um, Grandma had that blood clot on her leg and they put hot and cold compresses on it. And then they took her to the hospital and they cut her leg off and it did not heal. So they cut off a little bit more and then they kind of give up and that's when they took her to my mother's house to live the last six weeks. And today Barbara had the blood clot too, and all they do now is they give them blood thinner and heal the blood clot, but in those days they did not know what to do. This is Grandma, and she loved her flowers, and she would put them in just wash tubs, and this is uh, when she was still home. This is Grandma and her sister-in-law, Dicey Moore. That was uh, Andy Moore's. That is Grandpa Paul's uh, half brother. And this is Grandma and her brother, Uncle Bill. And this is just the picture at a family get-together. I think this is with Aunt Molly. And that looks like Joe Sipes and Grandma, Uncle Bill, and Theodore. And I'm not... I hey, Would that be Uncle Bill's wife, Florine, and they had a daughter? Okay, why don't you go through it again and put last names in. Okay, Theodore Morgan, Bill Gordon, that could be Florine Morgan, which I imagine would be, and their daughter, and I'm not sure what her name was. They lived in Kansas City. But that would be Florine Gordon originally. Yeah. No, well, that's her maiden name, her married name. This is her daughter, and this is the mother and the dad. And then Grandma, and that is Joe Sipes. Ella's husband. Is this Ella's husband? That one don't look like Ella, does it? I can't tell. 
And this is an Aunt Molly. That's uh, Mary Jane Morgan's sister. Uh, is that right? Okay, Mary Jane Morgan's sister. It was Aunt Molly. Okay. And here's one of the last pictures of Aunt Dicey Moore. Uh, uh, Aunt Dicey and Uncle Andy were very close to the Morgans. And she was married to the half-brother. She was married to the half-brother. Her grandfather. And Andy Moore, they lived uh, on the highway going to Atchison. And he went across the street to get his mail. And he must have been looking at his mail or something. But a car hit him and killed him on the highway there as he was walking across. Mm. And this is at Bean Lake, and this is Charles and Virginia, Kate's children, and this is uh, their mother, Kate, this is Aunt Mabel, and this is Aunt Ella. We must have had a picnic and went to either Bean Lake or Sugar Lake. This is another one of the family get-togethers at Grandma's house. It's set at home. And this is Uncle Andy Moore, Fred Sinners. Sinners. S-E-N-E-R-S. -E -E Was this Mary Moore? Let's do this. Yeah, Mary J. No. Yeah, Mary Read Moore. Read what it says. Mary Moore. And then Mary Jane Morgan and Reva more. Okay, this is Aunt Mary. This is Reva Moore, Uncle Andy's daughter, Grandma, and a Mary Moore. She must have been married to one of Grandpa's half, other brothers. Half brothers. Half brothers. And it's 1933 or 1935. We're not sure what the number is. This is Mabel Morgan, the next sister. She got through nurses training in the old nurses hospital at uh, Missouri Methodist Hospital in St. Joe. And this is another picture of her. She was a very attractive woman. And Mabel traveled to California, and she married a Herbert Matzik. He was a house painter. He was a painter. He could draw, uh, uh, paint pictures, too. Oh. He was a house painter. And uh, she was 40 when she got more married, and they did not have no children. This is a picture of Mays, uh, Mabel Morgan Matzik in California after she got married. This is a picture later on of Mabel and Herbert Matzik. And this was uh, when they were older. I do not have the time of their death, but uh, they died in California, and I know Mabel was cremated, and uh, Herbert lived quite a few years after that, and uh, I do not know what they did with him. He probably was cremated, too. They did not have no children or family there in California. And um, Aunt this is 1980, and I think Aunt Mabel died in 81, and I think Herbert died in 83, around there. This is a picture of Kate Jackson. That is after her husband died, and Herbert Matzik. They, she took a bus out to California, and they went to Catalina Island. That must be the boat. Mabel was taking the picture.
this is in another picture when Kate went to visit uh, Mabel and Herbert in California and they lived in a motor home in a trailer park. This is a family reunion. I don't know where, but you can tell that the Morgans, uh, Grandpa, Grandma, and there's Kate and Mary, and these are brothers and sisters of one or the other side of the family, but we do not know anything about them. We hope later on in years we can find out who they are. And this is uh, Grandma and her mother and her brothers. Here's That's the one we was looking for. That's we found it. another one, That's but it. I forgot what their names were. Is it were. Presley? Gordon? Mm-hmm. This was Ed, um, Henry, William, and this must be a Presley Gordon. And we still have not identified the fifth one in these. We think that could be a brother, but uh, I never met him. He wasn't here or passed away when I was small. I do not know. Clinton Morgan, the next of the family, married Lily, and her last name might have been Ferris, and she was a very attractive in and out person. And this is a picture of Clinton and Lily when they went to Florida in 68. Uh, to visit Aunt Lois. Visiting yes. Aunt Lois. And they were very close to Mina and John, almost like grandparents. Constantly visited them when they lived in Rushville and then went to Florida regularly to see them and stay with them. The next one was Ella, and she married Joe Sipes. They had one baby but it just lived for three days and she is buried with Ella and Joe in the Rushville Cemetery. And this is Mabel and Theodore, her brother and sister. And I, that could be close to a wedding picture. And Joe Sipes uh, was married before and had one daughter that I know of and she lived near Anaheim, California. And I have pictures of her somewhere. And this is Aunt Ella in her older years, and she was a, a very nice woman. She just lost the one baby and never had any more, so she was just by herself. And she died in a nursing home, and she is buried with Joe and the baby at the Sugar Creek Cemetery. This is Kate Morgan, and these are either girlfriends where she lived at the Y or some ladies she worked with. She worked at the state hospital in, as a secretary, and then she worked for a Miller Keller candy company in the office, and her and Charles met at a Prince ballroom dancing lessons. This Prince, and he has a son in Hollywood that if you'll see Prince, but uh, the grandfather had a dancing studio and at evenings couples would come in and learn ballroom dancing and that's where her and Charles Jackson met. Before they got married, Kate and Mabel took their mother to Colorado. And this is one of the pictures that uh, they took when they were there. 
think Echo Lake Lodge. At Echo Lake Lodge. And they had this big old tour bus that they took around. I don't know how they got there, but uh, I know that is uh, probably the only vacation Grandma ever had. This is another picture. This is Mabel and Grandma as they went to Cal uh, Colorado on that vacation. And Mabel was a little different. You could see in those days, here she wore slacks. Kind of an Amelia Earhart look. <laughs> she, and she had a tie on. Mm -hmm. uh, Mabel was a little different. She was the, not the youngest, but she got out more than the others and she was trying to make something out of herself. Another thing, Arthur said one day that uh, Mabel, she was going to be an aristocrat and she bought her a pack of cigarettes and she was trying to learn to smoke. She never smoked, but she said when she got with uh, the wealthy people that uh, she would, they smoked and that she would smoke too. But that never did happen. The next one was Edward Gordon Morgan, and he was born November the 27th, 1905. So I guess he was in World War I. Last night. Oh, yeah. This is a photograph taken about 1940. This is in the Sonimo, at the Santa Moser house in the background. It's kind of their drive up to the front the side of the house. This is my uh, Victoria Morgan's brother Dave. He married Pearl Sonnemoser. This is Gordon Morgan. This is Theodore Morgan. This is Gordon Morgan. And this is a car, uh, 33 or a 34 Ford, Rushville, Missouri, Sonnemoser House, around 1940. This is Betty Shanks, and this is her husband, Herman Shanks, and this is Clara Morgan, Uncle Gordon's wife. She was married previously, and this is Betty, her daughter from her first marriage, and Betty had a son, Leroy, Leroy, from her first marriage, Leroy Ferris, and Uncle Gordon pretty much raised him, a grandson, but Leroy went with Uncle Gordon almost everywhere. So this is Clara Morgan, Gordon Morgan's wife, and her daughter, Betty Shanks. One was a son, McClure Morgan, and he went by toots, but we never ask, um, uh, why they call him Toots. Okay, put it on top. That'll work. Toots joined the Army. And he was stationed in Florida. And he married Lois from Florida. And... Uh, then after he was out of service, they came back to Rushville to live. At first, they lived at Bean Lake in one of their cabins, and then later they bought them a farm. This is another picture of T Toots. It must have been when he came home, or McClure, from service. And this is one of his farm pictures. And this is Lois that he married in Florida and brought home. And of that marriage, they had two children. And this is one of, she had a boy and a girl, John and Mina Jane. And I'm not sure that probably is John. Okay, take that one off. 
And uh, this is uh, Toots in an old car he had in Rushville. That might be that Ford, that uh, 33 or 34. That is Ford. a Ford. That's the same car, I think, because he's about okay. that same age that we saw before. And this is a uh, Toots in 46 with uh, one of their, their children. Well, that would have to be uh, John. This is McClure Morgan and his wife, Lois, and their two children. Uh, McClure passed away when Mina Jane was eight years old. He was working at a foundry in Atchison in the evenings, and they had a motor there that was... Uh, kind of shocking everybody and they laughed about it but I guess it was late in the evening and Toots was uh, tired and he put his hand on that motor and put the other hand on one of the steel uh, brake braces and he got electrocuted that way and they didn't know for a long time I don't know if right then, if they'd known it, they could have survived him, or because they didn't have he didn't have no burns in his heart, but it went from one arm to the other. And they had an autopsy. Neem suggested having uh, he ate ham for his lunch, and they said, "Well, ham's one of the worst things." So we do not know exactly what happened. Well, then they finally decided it was. Uh, electrocution and after he passed away Lois had an auction and got rid of everything she wanted and here she is with Mina Jane when they she went back to Florida Tampa or Tampa Florida and this is where she lived and uh, your mother uh, my mother uh, Lois bought a car Henry Clay Let's see. He was a mower. Uh, was an auto salesman. He went down. He was very good to Lois. He went down and 